Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please press the red subscribe button. Okay, today we are going to do something uh, experimental again. Uh, so this is the Foma photo paper, black and white photo paper. This is uh, Foma Prom. That means they are fiber-based paper. Uh, it's kind of expire. So uh, today I try to use it as a um, positive uh, paper that means I will do a reversal after shooting it and convert it into a positive okay to make things a bit more interesting I'm going to use my 8 by 10 camera to do the shoot today so this is my 8 by 10 film holder I have put a 4 by 5 holder next to it just for a comparison of size so the photo paper is 9.5 by 12 inches uh, while this is a uh, exposed uh, 8 by 10 uh, negative so I'm going to use this as a template and cut the paper to size in a dark room under a red safe light okay. right, the Photo paper has been loaded inside. I cut the paper to size in the uh, dark room under safe light, but I did not film it because I think my video cam has some lights that will fog the paper. So let's try to do the shooting now. The camera I'm going to use today is this 8x10 camera. This uh, is man number 2. And this is the lens that I'm going to use today. It's a 305mm lens and it's actually, uh, I'm not sure you can see it on camera but it's from Sinica camera um, It's supposed to be a convertible um, but I always use it as a 305mm lens right? uh, Not much information that I can find online about this lens but I've used it, um, it's quite it gives quite a nice effect. Come with a shutter, a Betex number four shutter, and I got it for quite a good price, about a hundred USD. So this is my model for today. Very simple portrait, she's just going to sit straight, look, look straight into the camera and hold the door in her hand. Unlike some of the more modern uh, large format lenses where there is a lever for you to open out the aperture so that you can focus the image on the ground grass this one does not have that so what we need to do is to change it to the thumb mode and then open up the aperture by triggering the shutter so the aperture will be open now and then the image uh, will be formed on the ground grass for you to do the focusing okay so today we are going to use this Patterson Orbital Color Print Processor to process the 8x10 photo paper um, if you have not seen this video where I talk about this processor please click on the link on the top right hand corner So this processor can process uh, 8x10 uh, photo paper or film 
Uh, what we need to do is to remove these four packs. Okay. And then it will fit one piece of 8x10 film or paper. Right. And for there is a storage space for you to uh, keep the packs so that you don't lost them. Here are the chemicals that we need to process the photo paper. I have the developer. This is the Uford multi grade for paper developer makes at one plus nine. And then this is a bleach, right? If you have watched my other uh, photo paper or film reversal videos, you will know that I used to use the potassium permanganate bleach. Today I'm using something different. Okay, so the Photo paper has been loaded inside the processor, so I'm ready to pour in the developer. Because the photo paper used is a fiber-based paper, so we will process it for two minutes. So let's start the processing. And I have started the timer. So what I'm doing now is just turning the processor continuously so that the chemical will flow around all the surface of the photo paper and we will have even processing. So we'll come back in 2 minutes time. Okay, so 2 minutes is up. So we'll pour away the developer and pour in some water. Where's the stop bar? So here's just some tap water and I'm going to just agitate it for about 30 seconds. This is to stop the developing process and also to wash away the developer that's still on the surface of the paper this process so I'll pour it in and we will leave it inside there for five minutes with continuous agitation so let's go So we come back in 5 minutes. Okay, so the bleaching time is up. Let's pour the bleach back into its own container. And we'll do some washing. Okay, I have given it a good wash after the bleach, so now we can move on to the next step which is uh, re-exposure the paper to light followed by re-developing. Right, let's take a look. So this is the paper after bleaching. Right, okay. So this is the emulsion side. I'm not sure if you can see but there's a very fake image here right so now is the re-exposure to light okay you can see that it's slowly coming out so I'm going to do now so let's pour it in and now we can process the second processing stage uh, in daylight. Oh dear.
Okay, on the point away, I think it's enough. You can see the positive. So here is the final positive print. You will see that it's lighter than what you have seen in the uh, earlier part of the video. So what I did was that I actually used a very diluted bleach to bleach away the print to make it lighter. Right, so this is the final result. So there are two things I will change if I were to try this again. I will probably increase the exposure time. Maybe instead of 3 stop, I would maybe increase it by 4 or 5 stop. And also for the second um, re-exposure, I will probably uh, re-expose it for a shorter period of time. As you can see in the earlier part of the video, um, the print actually turned darker when I re-expose it. So I am thinking it may be over exposed at the second exposure stage yeah but that's just the top so i have to try again uh, to confirm that okay guys this is the end of the video do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so please also comment like and share out this video so take care and i see you at my next video